Drugs. Even the name is scary. And that's the way it should be. Because today we may be sitting on the couch, smoking the devil's lettuce, eating the most gourmet grilled cheese in mankind's creation. And the next day, we're elbow deep in our prison wallet, looking for that rock piece we could have sworn we saved for later. Drugs these days for the most part are a delight. But the drugs of the future are no joke. They're more lethal than anything we have today. In the world of cyberpunk, many of the drugs are experimental chemicals made by pharmaceutical mega corporations. They use junkies as lab rats in order to perfect their drugs before commercial release. Mostly never do. Some drugs are homebrewed horror drugs made in dingy basements and poached ridden factories. Others are military designed combat drugs designed to create armies of zombie killing machines. These drugs are bad news, but not all drugs are bad or dangerous. That's if you can afford them. That's where designer drugs come in. Designer drugs are non-toxic created to interact naturally with the user's own physiologies. In night cities like a candy shop, and there's so many treats to taste. Drugs like synth coke, otherwise known as the coke of the future. The cocaina plant is needed no more. Synth coke is a stimulant and increases the user's strength. Stem, stem increases endurance, allowing the user to stay alert for a longer period of time. Speed Heal. Speed Heal is designed to enhance the natural healing process. Bluegrass. Bluegrass was originally developed as a biological weapon. If you take bluegrass, you will have a 33% chance of flashing out. Flashing out reduces staring blankly at the pretty colors in your mind. Smash. Smash is cyberpunk's answer to alcohol. It's yellow, foamy, and comes in a can. It makes you lose happy and ready to party. Dorf. Designed as a combat drug and painkiller. It raises endorphins from the brain to reduce pain and stress effects of stun or shock. Black Lace. A high power version of Dorf that implants euphoria, adrenal rush, and invulnerability to pain. These are just some of the drugs of the future. And some of these drugs will need a delivery system of the future. Enter Bones McCoy. The air hypo is used to disperse drugs of various types. To the surprise of many and popular beliefs, drugs are not good for you. Yes, they're fun, but the side effects can be devastating, both physically and psychologically. And in worst cases, leads to death. But they're fun. So the risk of death and many side effects may be worth it. It's up for you to decide. Side effects of these drugs vary. They may include, but are not limited to the following. The first is addiction, obviously. Drugs and cyberpunk is a business, and the point of a business is to make money, which comes from consumers. So what better way to make sure you have repeat customers than to make the product you're offering the most addicting you can? We also have tremors, painful, constant twitching in the face and hands. Hallucinations. Some drugs can cause hallucinations after the drug's effects have worn off. Hallucinations such as colors, voices, strange shapes that make the user unable to function normally. Paranoia. A side effect causes paranoid delusions, thinking that they, whoever that may be, is out to get them. Not to be confused with delusion. A side effect that causes delusions where the user thinks untrue things are real, such as their pets holding conversations with them. Sterility. A side effect that causes the user to become permanently sterile, making them unable to ever have children. Psychotic rage. A side effect that causes the user to fly into a psychotic rage, attacking anyone within range. Aggressive behavior. Side effects that causes the user to become irritable and aggressive. A 50-50 chance he will pick a fight with the nearest person to them. Irrational fear. Side effects that cause the user to break down and causes the user to be fearful of everything making them unable to function. Now these are just some of the drugs that will be able to partake in the world of cyberpunk. And given that Night City is unforgiving, I'm sure we'll all be experimenting with them in order to get an advantage. But you've been warned. So when you're on top of the world flying high, just know that great highs lead to great lows. And it's at that moment when the walls are coming in on you, your insides burning with the strength of a hundred suns, your skin crawling with spiders, you choose death or simply take another pill and choose to live high another day.